avocado corn soup. What you need is just whole corn on the cob. You go ahead and check it. Make sure you get all of it off there. And of course, if you want, you can buy it already pre shut too. You know, the <laughs> some people it is like they have nightmares about shucking corn. <laughs> I grew up sitting out on my great grandmother's porch doing nothing but that for hours. <laughs> now, you can do this in a skillet if you want. A uh, cast iron skillet works the best if you're doing it this way. You're not, want, you're not looking at blacking the whole thing. Just you know, kind of uh, score it a little bit on each side. You can also use a grill. If you're grilling out uh, that day, you know, go ahead and throw you some corn on the grill. Because what you're looking for is, uh, as you're cooking that, it's drawing the sugar out and it's uh, caramelizing and it gives it a sweet flavor. And that's really going to help set this off because it's going to draw into uh, the rest of the ingredients and it's gonna add a lot, uh, especially mixed in uh, with the avocados in this, and then, uh, like I said, it's a lightly creamy texture to it when it's done, and it's wonderful flavor this way. But of course, I also took a shortcut again, because <laughs> it takes a little while to do that, because you're looking at anywhere from six to 10 minutes uh, at a medium high. Now, if it's uh, cast iron, you're probably looking a little bit longer. Same thing if you're using an open grill, depending on how high of a flame you're using, if you're using gas or if you're using charcoal, how hot it is. Depends on how long you're looking. But what you're looking for, it's just slightly scored. You know, it doesn't have to be completely blackened or anything like that. And once you do get it cooked enough, what you're wanting to do is, let's go ahead and just cut all the kernels off. Because these will all be going into the blender. But we are going to actually save the cob because while we cook this down with the rest of the liquids, we'll throw the cob in there and it'll draw flavor out of it as well as you're cooking it down. Now to make it easier, a lot of times, you can break it down, depending on the size of a skillet that you're using for this. Of course, I have a very wide base one, and so I could actually leave that in whole if I so chose, but if you're using a smaller uh, pot for your stove, it'll work just fine doing it this way. Okay. Now we're going to add four cups of water. Okay. Now we're going to also take another garlic uh, clover, smash that up, peel it. Once again, this you don't have to chop or anything. You can break it up a little bit if you want, it'd be fine. I do recommend wearing gloves if you're working with that because it is extremely sticky too. If anybody's ever worked with it, you know how it'll stick to your fingers. Okay, so now we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Kind of stir that in there a little bit, let that salt dissolve evenly through there. Okay, now we're gonna to need to chop up a white onion. And we're only gonna need a half a cup starting off. And if you want to, if you prefer yellow onions, you know, feel free to switch out. Uh, this one here, <laughs> cook half of the onion down into it and then half of it will be raw 
So you have uh, uh, two layers there of uh, similar flavor that kind of complement one another. But it, uh, it will give it you know, a bit of an aggressive onion flavor in the, in the end product, but not too aggressive. But it's a matter of your choice of uh, flavor of onions too. If you want to try a sweet onion, you know, feel free to use a sweet onion with this because that goes really good with this corn too. And when you're chopping this up, once again, just keep in mind, you're going to be throwing this in a blender. So it don't have to be too precise, but just good enough to throw it in the blender. Let's go ahead and get a half a cup there. Break that down. Like so. Okay. Throw that in there. Now, in cooking this, you want to cook it approximately 15 to 20 minutes. So you're looking at cooking it down to about three cups of water. <coughs> That'll give plenty of time to draw the flavor out of the corn, but also it'll soften up the onion uh, too, and it'll take away a lot of the bitterness. So while that's cooking, we'll go ahead and work on the rest of the, uh, the ingredients, which we're going to need another three quarters cup of onion, which I should already have chopped up here. Uh, that worked out rather well, actually. Okay. Now we're going to. Oh, I forgot to get it out. Let me grab it right quick. <laughs> We're going to make a cilantro oil that's going to go with this dish. And this is, you know, not only for this soup, it goes really good with, you know, a lot of salads, you know, raw vegetable salads. Just lightly sprinkling a little bit of this over, it, it's wonderful. So you want to take some fresh um, cilantro. You only need about a cup full. And you don't have to chop it up you know, real fine or nothing. You're getting ready to throw this into the blender. All ready. Pour that in there. See if we got about a cup there, which yes we do. Okay. Pull that one off. Now this one is gonna be a little bit more finicky. Because as you chop this in the blender, you want to have a rubber uh, spatula with you because you're going to let it pulse for about two or three pulses. Then you're going to have to scrape the sides and do that over about uh, four or five times. It's going to be enough to really break up at the cilantro and help to infuse the oils from that in with uh, the other oil and the salt. Let's see. So we need a fourth a cup of olive oil. Let's go ahead and pour it in there. And then our salt. And our rubber spatula. <laughs> go ahead and I'll go ahead and just put it on high. And each time, just go through on the sides. About three seconds each, and you're looking at approximately four to five times of having to do this. It doesn't have to be pureed to where it's you know, really smooth or nothing like that. And what you're looking at doing is cutting it up so it draws the oil out into the olive oil. And then we'll go ahead and run that through a sieve. Okay, one more time ought to do it. Oh, 
Okay. Now, of course, I use one of the these simple sieves. You may have larger ones, or you, if you choose, you can use a cheesecloth. It works just as fine. Let's put that over any little bow. Go ahead and pour that out. And with this, just let it naturally uh, sieve itself. Don't try to press it out or anything. Give it about 15 minutes and it'll drain itself. And then the bulk stuff, you can just go ahead and toss it out. Go ahead and rinse this. Now with this, what you want to do, I'm going to go ahead and take the cobs out. Now if you got a smaller blender, feel free to go ahead and break this up in uh, two batches uh, to blend it down because you don't want to overpack it because then you're just going to make a mess, <laughs> which I've done that a few times myself too. Of course, if you have an industrial size one, it makes it even easier. <laughs> okay. And once again, if you want to, just go ahead. You can let it cool down before pouring it. Um, it doesn't really affect this if you uh, blend it while it's hot. It's more just for a time uh, reason, timely fashion, uh, for going ahead and blend it that way. But if you're uncomfortable and working with hot liquids like that, just go ahead and pull that aside and let it set for about 15 minutes, let it cool down enough, and then go ahead and pour it into the blender. Okay, and fit that on there. Go ahead and get the rest of the ingredients. Now, we're going to throw in some lime juice. Now, you can use fresh lime juice if you want to. I use uh, bottled lime juice for this. Uh, it doesn't take away from the dish, flavor-wise or anything. If nothing else, this actually helps to simplify it. Because if you squeeze it out, sometimes you got to watch out for the seeds and the pulp. Uh, this way, it's pulp-free, no hassle. Just go ahead. And it works great. Just throw that in there. Now the other three quarters cup of onion that we got chopped up, go ahead and throw those in there. Now we're going to take a serrano pepper. And just cut the cap off there. Cut in half. The best way I found for de-seeding these, you can take a spoon or I use a little measuring spoon because that'll fit right there in that canal rather nicely and just pull that down. And that gets all the seeds out. Go ahead and pull those. Just chop it up good enough to we can throw it in the blender. Okay. this down. Now for our avocados, make these real easy. All you want to do is take the knife and run it in a circle fashion. You'll be able to twist it. 
which these are really white, uh, ripe, so they come off really easy. Just take the knife and let's see come right out. And for getting the rest of it out, instead of trying to peel this off, which I mean, it does peel easy, but you can just take a spoon. You see, in the, it kind of has like an egg shape. Take a spoon right in there, come right under it, and you get the whole thing out, nice and smooth and easy. And it looks like you just peeled it off and it saves you a lot of time doing it that way. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do this other one then. Go ahead and chop that up and between a quarter and half an inch where this is really nice and ripe. Uh, this will blend really well in this. But we're not going to throw that in just yet. We're going to save that. So we're going to go ahead and blend this part down first. Starting off on a low pulse because of the onions and the corn in there. Just enough where you can see that it's uh, broken it up to where you can turn it on high and then set it on the blend for, uh, to help to smooth it down. Approximately 10 to 15 uh, seconds. That should be enough for doing it in this uh, stage. Okay. Now we're going to take another sieve. Let me go ahead and use this one now. Because where you had that corn in there, that's going to leave it real fibrous, real gritty uh, flavor. So we want to go ahead and uh, sieve all of that stuff out. So you take a sieve, just set it over. And unlike with the cilantro, this we do want to push through the sieve. You want to force that through to get the juice out. And the remainder we're just going to toss out. That's one of the reasons I love these uh, little sieves. You know, we had these downstairs. They fit over the blender perfect. They got that nice little lip to the hold there so you don't have to worry about sliding off or anything on you. Kind of scrape the edges there, let the liquids go through as you press down. Actually, I guess I can get it where he can see too. And we about got it all there. And this will really help give it that nice smooth uh, texture once you're done with it. Okay, and the remainder of that, all you got to do is just toss it out. This one will set up here. Now we're going to add our avocados to this. Oops. Switch out gloves. Huh? And it only takes just a few seconds for this because we're that Avocado is so soft, it'll take nothing for this to uh, blend smooth. And that should be enough for that. Okay. Pour that out there. Add another pan here. <laughs> So 
Somebody set a booby trap up for me. <laughs> Let's pour that in there. And with this one, you can throw that straight into the refrigerator and you're looking at least a two hour uh, cooling time for it as well. Now the cilantro oil that we have been draining here, which I've already got a little bit of both made here. This has already been cooled down. What you do with the cilantro oil is just lightly sprinkle it over. You don't have to stir it up or nothing. You want that, it's like that little surprise uh, flavor as you're biting into it. So it has a contrast as you're eating this. And the same thing with the avocado. Now I've got a little melon scoop. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. Just cut it down to approximately a half an inch to three quarter inch size. And all you have to do is lightly toss those in there. And you wanna let those sit in there a few minutes to kind of absorb uh, the flavors into it as well. And so not only we have, you know, real nice fresh flavor to it, but it gives itself a really nice presentation as well.